Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at the announcements made by Lucasfilm at the Disney investor meeting that they just had. So a little bit of context for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, the investor meeting is basically this event that they did where they stream where they did a live stream to let us know you know what they have planned for the future and one of the things that they did was announce the future of Lucasfilm and a lot of it is coming to Disney Plus so it seems like Disney's just going to go all in on Disney Plus which I think a lot of us kind of expected you know they they do need content for Disney Plus because other than the Mandalorian like people are just not interested in Disney Plus, you know, a lot of the content that you have there are shit that we've already seen multiple times. Like, you you don't really have anything there to, you know, sort of, you know, bring us in. So, we, we are, we're about to take a look at um, some of the stuff that they announced. And honestly, when I took a look at it, actually, I didn't take a look at it. I was watching it live. And when I saw it, I only thought one thing. They, they, they really just don't care, do they? They don't care about Star Wars fans because everything that they announced are things that none of us have asked for. None of us have asked for this. So let's take a look at what some of the things that they announced. Some of the things some people might be interested in, but most of it, no one cares. No one cares and explains again why the people who are in charge of Lucasfilm need to leave because they obviously do not know what the fans want. So. Rangers of the New Republic. Now, I heard this is supposed to be the whole Gina Carano starring show. So, if you like Gina Carano, then great. There you go. You have something for you. Me, honestly, I don't. I mean, I am a fan of Gina Carano herself, but I'm not a fan of Cara Dune. I'm not a fan of The Mandalorian. I just, I do not like that show. And then, of course, you have Ahsoka. Again, don't care. Like, to me, I think I've had enough of Ahsoka. I really liked her in The Clone Wars. I, I, I liked uh, her... I liked her in Rebels. She wasn't there much, but whenever she was there, she I did enjoy her, um, you know, her interactions with the other characters. I especially loved her interaction with, uh, you know, Darth Vader. The fight that she had with Vader, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Still hate the whole time travel thing where Ezra brought her back. I, I think she should have died there. That would have been a great way to. Uh, great great end to her character but no they just they had to bring her back because people like Ahsoka and we need characters people like because we if we have pe characters people like we'll bring more people in <sighs> so we have Cassie Andor don't care no one cares about Cassie Andor and this again it, the fact that they're making a Cassie and Andor series just shows how out of touch they are with their fans I dare you to name me one person just one person who was asking for a Cassian Andor series. Name me just one person who asked for a show starring a character that is dead. No one. Now this, this is something that I don't think anyone expected. Hayden Christensen has, wait, Jesus Christ, these, I fucking hate these trailers on Twitter where they automatically play on their own. Hayden Christensen has officially been confirmed to come back as Darth Vader and he will be appearing in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series that is going to be airing on Disney+. Plus. Now look, Hayden Christensen, sorry about that, Hayden Christensen in my opinion has gotten a lot of unfair criticism from fans for his role in the prequels. Now look, I liked Hayden Christensen as Anakin in the prequels. I know I'm in the minority, but I really like Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker, I do. And I'm excited for this because I think that he'll at the very least get a chance to show people that he actually, like he is good, like he genuinely is good. Like I think a lot of people again have been giving him a lot of unfair criticism. Look, the guy is a good actor. All you have to do is go look at his other work and you'll see the guy can act. But again, he did the best that he could with what he was given. And look, I like the prequels, but I see a lot of the problems that people point out. And look, a lot of the problems are not the fault of the actors. They did the best with what they were given. I mean, they had... Oh God, what was his name? Why am I blanking out on his name? Uh, Christopher Lee. Yeah, they had Christopher Lee, one of the best actors ever. And even he tried to do the best with what he could with, what he could with Count Dooku. So again, that should tell you the problem that most people have was with the writing. It wasn't 
the, uh, the fault of the actors. Bad Batch, who cares? Uh, this one is even slightly interesting because it has to do with bringing in uh, Japanese anime creators and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do. Uh, well, looking forward is kind of strong. I'm curious, just curious. Because I am an anime fan, I have been an anime fan for years, and I'm curious to see what they do with Star Wars. This is, by the way, something that people have been begging for for years. People have been begging for years for a Star Wars anime. But, you know, Lucasfilm being the company that is, choosing not to listen to them. Although, I guess this was a little bit before uh, Lucasfilm, but like back when George still owned it. We still never got a Star Wars anime, which I still think was a big, big mistake, but whatever. So this, I'm even, this, I will admit, I am slightly curious to see what they do. Again, I'll have to wait and see, uh, you know, what they put out. I just hope it's none of that CG BS that we keep seeing in anime these days, like they did with Berserk. God, that was awful. Um, a Lando show, no one cares. Especially after Rogue, especially after Solo and what you did to Lando. You know, Pando Lando, and they fucking, Jesus Christ. Like Jesus, Even Billy D. Williams called it out. Uh, Leslie Headland, her show, who cares? Uh, we've got, we're getting an animated show based on Droid. No one cares. Willow, no one cares. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, they're doing an indie, uh, indie movie. Another indie movie. Indie 5. Which, look. Here's the thing. Indiana Jones is over. Okay? A lot of people are still pissed off at Indiana Jones 4. Excuse me. No one is asking for an Indy 5 film, other than the fact that the only the only reason they're making this, which, again, you should already know, is because money. They want money. They think, oh, new Indiana Jones film. People will definitely subscribe for that, won't they? No, they won't. Because nobody's asking for an Indy 5. So, they also announced a the whole Children of Blood and Bone. Okay, look, who cares? This is based off a book, which I don't give a shit about. And again, it's just all these announcements, like, it's it's doing nothing for me. I, I'm not interested in Rangers. I'm not interested in an Ahsoka show. In a, in an Ahsoka show. Even if it's Thrawn, I don't care. Definitely don't care about Andor. Not looking forward to this because I'm afraid of what they might do to Darth Vader. D sorry about that. Don't care about the Bad Batch. This, again, just slightly curious. Uh, no, 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 no. No, and no, I don't care about Rogue Squadron either. Even though, look, I like Patty Jenkins, I do. I like what she did with Wonder Woman. But Wonder Woman 1984 is just, from what we know about it, it doesn't look good. I don't know if that's a lot of Patty Jenkins' fault. I don't know if, if other people, like maybe producers may have gotten involved and asked her to do certain things and she didn't really have a choice. I don't know what it is, but I saw the vignette that she posted, which I'm not going to play here because, again, you know, copyright. Um, it's just I'm not interested in Rogue Squadron. I even read the um, – I didn't read the books, but I read the Dark Horse comics, which is an adaptation of the books, and I just was not interested. I just – I never cared about Rogue Squadron. I never cared about Wedge. I don't know. I, well, that was back then. Maybe if I go back and read it now, I'll actually like it. Who knows? But, but I still remember when I read it. I just was not interested. I kept skipping, like, okay, okay, whatever, whatever. I just, eh. every time I tried to actually read what was going on, it just, it didn't grab me. So, no, I'm not interested in Rogue Squadron, even if it is directed by Patty Jenkins. So, yeah, look at that. A lot of shit that Lucasfilm announced, most of it is crap. The only thing that's even remotely interesting is this. Now, again, that's just my opinion, guys. As always, you guys are going to have your own opinions. Let me know what they are in the comment section down below. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon to let you know whenever a new video goes out. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now.